Harmony here with Liberty Canine Dog Training. We're on Penny's day number seven. Penny, come. Good girl. Of her training camp. And it's a little bit of a dreary day today, so we're doing a lot of indoor distraction type of stuff. I have my foster boy Henry, the, our little master distractor Chihuahua SA, Puppy Indy, Sequoia, who is actually the only one in a formal place day right now. We're working with her with distractions all around her and so on. Of course, Penny, the cat is going ballistic, I think, on the other side of the couch right now, uh, Duchess, and Penny has, uh, has ears on her right now. But she's being nice and calm. You saw her wanting to be curious and check her out. I immediately called her to a come. Got her right back to me to, uh, to just relax about everything. Hey, it's all right. Um, so what I wanted to show you is a direct follow-up from yesterday's video where you saw Penny on her place, super chill, super calm, super relaxed. Cat came over here and no issues whatsoever with uh, with the cat. She was a uh, she was a very very good girl. Now a lot of people look at that video and they think oh my gosh you know she's behaving because she's afraid not to or a, a, a lot of the big critics about the remote collar trainer they say that of course the dog is well behaved because they're afraid to do otherwise, that they're not eager, they, they're not creative, they're not willing, you take their spirit away from them. And I'm telling you guys, nothing is farther from the truth. Balanced dog training, including low level remote collar training, does not change your dog's core personality. It simply provides your dog accurate information through clear communication about your expectations of them in a given moment. Nothing else can help build your dog's confidence as quickly and effectively as well-defined boundaries, rewards for being calm and obedient, and fair consequences for breaking the rules. Penny came to us a week ago, a happy-go-lucky, free-spirited uh, dog who was behaving very badly in a lot of ways, barking at other dogs and, uh, and especially trying to chase the cat and so on. And again, she's free right now. She's not in any specific command. So you can see her being curious right now, but since she's not in a command, she's not going to be super, you know, relaxed about it. But the key is for the last week, we've been working on that impulse control a whole lot. And you started seeing snippets of it when, uh, when I first brought Essay out on day number four and had her hold that place command not, really, really nicely. You of course saw it yesterday with, uh, with the cat going all around. Penny's free right now. And she's basically permitted to do whatever she wants. Right now she's just chilling because... Uh, She's, uh, she's, she's nice and relaxed on her own. But what I want to do is bring the cat over here and just show you how well she can think through things now that she's had the foundation of training on her. Duchess. Where are you, little kitty? Huh? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Come on, Duchess. So again, everybody's in a, um, in a free except for Sequoia right here who's doing really, really good with her uh, impulse control. Come on, Duchess. Good. And they tried um, treats, positive reinforcement training with uh, with Penny before, and she's very receptive to it, except when there was a big distraction like the cat, it was way too much for her, and she couldn't even care about the treat. Now, you see that Penny has such a calmer state of mind that she's able to think so much clearer, she's able to resist the cat leaping and chasing after her, and I can actually now go back to using foods as the true rewards for doing rock star behavior like it's meant to. So instead of it trying to get your attention or trying to uh, do something on purpose, hey, we're not going to do that. Thank you. Uh, 
now what we can do is genuinely reward her for being such a rock star um, about everything. You want to Dutch is taking the day off. Come on, Dutch. Oh, you're going to tease Sequoia. That's not very nice. But good girl, Sequoia. This is just an example of the distractions that we go through the dogs, go through with the dogs. This is one of her favorite play buddies. Penny saying, play with me, play with me, play with me. Sequoia saying, nope, I'm supposed to be chill right now. So that's uh, really nice. Come on, Duchess. Good girl. Come on, you can be free. There you go. I mean, you can see Penny right now is more concerned about, hey, place, enough. Sequoia's more concerned about just staying chill on her uh, bed, but Penny's more concerned about uh, just uh, trying to egg, uh, egg Sequoia on. There we go. Come. Good. Come on, Penny. Come on, Penny. We're going to go over here. Come on. Uh, Sequoia, place. Good girl. Very good. So, but I really, you know, the whole point that I wanted to... Uh, do today will show you that Penny is perfectly capable of being free and not in a perfectly still, calm, relaxed command and having to be a little frozen robot and uh, to, to, to have good impulse control with the cat. When you introduce the remote collar in the way that we introduced it, when you have a happy-go-lucky nut of a dog, trust me, <laughs> you're going to have a happy-go-lucky nut of a dog at the end of training. It's just they're going to have such, such better ways of relaxing themselves, calming themselves, thinking clearly. And if I want to put her in command to, uh, to reinforce something, I absolutely can. But you can see here, she's not in any way afraid to do anything. She's not in any way, you know, not willing or not eager. And she's certainly still very, very happy. Place. It's just when I say place, you go to your place and you chill. So then, hey, Penny, come, place. You just go to your place, you chill, and you relax. It's, uh, it's pretty basic stuff. But I just wanted to clarify because all we did was shoot her on her bed and she was perfectly still for a great 10 minutes. And I just wanted to show you that she's, you know, so uh, still so free spirited. And just like that, in one week, we have her loose with the cat. Still, every now and then, you'll see a little tidbit of her being like, cat, where are you? But I can quickly redirect her because she's able to focus herself so much better now. So that's a wrap for uh, for day seven, and then yeah, I mean we're gonna throw in just all the distractions you can possibly think uh, at her over the next week, which is her big, big, big proofing week, where we basically take a ton of field trips and just throw random stuff at her with distractions, and uh, and have her be an absolute rock star that she's already showing us right here. So that's it for today, and we'll check in uh, check in, in a couple days or so. Thanks, guys.